What's going on ladies and gents, Guns Blazing back at it again, bringing you my final video of the 2017 November KC Cup. And this video is going to be showcasing the deck that I used to get my highest DP, my peak rank which was around rank 15. And surprisingly the deck that I got to it with was neither Cyber Angels nor Ninjas, though the majority of my games were Ninjas. One look at this deck and you might think, how did I get so high with this? But the thing is, it's so good against ninjas and how I found this out was actually someone used this deck against me. And I was playing ninjas for about three games straight and I faced him three games straight and I didn't win any of them. Reason being, Cosmic Cyclone completely shuts down ninjas. So if they try to transform or duplicate with their trap cards, you just pop the Cosmic Cyclone, their monster gets destroyed. And if they already use three star demotion, that means they're pretty much screwed for the rest of the game. On top of that, DD Warrior and Exiled Force, very underrated cards at the moment, put in a lot of work versus the ninjas. It didn't do too well against Cyber Angels, but I will show you a replay where I completely grinded out this one Cyber Angel player. And the last great thing I'll mention about this deck is that it completely destroys Ojama King lockdown decks. Once they hit you for enough damage, you just pick up your Forbidden Chalice, play it on the Ojama King, his effect gets nullified for the rest of the turn, and you just go in for the lethal. Also, later in the video, I'll be talking about what you should pick up with your reward ticket, so stay tuned for that. Guys, enjoy the replay. Have yourselves a good one. This is Guns Blazing, signing out. Alright boys, if you want to know the top secret to beating Cyber Angels, I'll tell you right now. You gotta use the force of your mind to bend the coin flip to land on tails. Because if you're not going second, you're not winning the game. And I'm serious. Anyways, he's my scan Cyber. His, his version of Cyber Angels is actually... Uh, very cheesy, very interesting. He's going first and he's leading off two sets. I've got a pretty decent hand. By the way, 4-star Ladybug was teched in because I kept facing this one Gladiator Beast player. And 4-star Ladybug just shuts it completely down. Normally I just go with a second DD Warrior. Anyways, I'm gonna set that Econ in case he Dakinis me and the Draining Shield. Didn't go out with my DD Warrior just yet because I know that it's gonna be useless if he just uh, Dakini affects it. Fucking. So I'm, I just throw out my 4-star Lady Bajo out there because he's pretty expendable in this matchup. And he doesn't go for the Dakini effect since he knows I have Econ through Mind Scan. And so he just attacks the face down. I pop that Draining Shield to get myself up to a respectable 6700. Meaning that I'll probably be able to pop D-Draw multiple times in this, uh, in this duel. Try to crash my DD Warrior into him. Turns out he has that Flood Gajo and so... Uh, yeah, my DD Warrior is pretty much rendered useless, very cheesy. And at this point, I'm wondering, how does this boy have Floodgate in a Cyber Angel deck? How does this boy have space to include that back row in this deck? But you know what, I'm not gonna judge. He goes Senju, picks up a Ben 10, and attacks in the order to make sure that my monsters don't get any more value than they should. Kills the DD Warrior with the Senju, and the 4-star Lady Bajo with the Bikini. So I pick up that Heavy Knight, my plan is to get this Gemini summon the next turn and so that when he attacks, Cyber Angel Dakini just gets straight banished. So my turn comes up, I try to do it. Turns out this young Bajo is running that second floodgate. Really? You what lad? How does this boy have enough room to run that even? And then he just attacks me, 2500 piercing, he has another back row. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna be able to pop Destiny Draw here and pick up my Exile Force. And this is gonna net a kill on his Dakini because he doesn't have Machine Angel Ritual in his grave. Pretty bricked out though. I'm out of monsters and I'm all, I'm just pure back row right now. Anyways, I just try to make sure he doesn't get another Ritual Summon off here by uh, uh, Forbidden Chalicing his Sonic Bird. And this negates the effect for the rest of the turn, meaning he can't pick up a Ritual Spell with it. Next up, I brick with that mirror wall, and at this point I'm ready to give up. I was like, I should just put my hand on the deck at this point and scoop it out, but I'm like, yeah, we'll, we'll play it out. We'll try to survive another turn. He goes send you for his Dakini. Attacks me directly, and at this point I have to pop two cards just to survive. I gotta pop that Waj, and I gotta pop that Cheese play. And uh, he actually triggers Destiny Draw for the last time this duel. So I go ahead and pick up that D-Draw and uh, get my Sergeant Electro. 
because this monster can attack into his weak level 4 monsters and pin down this back row. Turns out it's a mirror wall. So, he, in a Cyber Angel deck, he's managed to fit in two floodgates, a mirror wall, and we don't know what else. Anyways, I'm just going to attack into that Senju, pop the Metal Magio, and this is enough to barely get over the Senju. His turn comes along, he decides not to pay for the wall, but he sets another card in the back. Ends his turn. I pick up that X-Force, I try to pin the back row. He chains, it's another mirror wall, my boys. Are you seeing this? But it's okay, I just summon my X-Force. I don't pop the effect because if another Dakini rolls through, I can just send this guy to the graveyard instead of my pumped up Sergeant Electro. So he just pays for the wall and ends his turn. Again, I decide not to X-Force, and Econ Take isn't lethal here because of the mirror wall. He picks up Cyber Petite and his Machine Angel Ritual, and here's where uh, you know, trouble starts to brew. He sacks Edithin and Cyber Angel Petite. I mean, Cyber Petite Angel for his Dakini that's going to be pumped up. Doesn't pop the effect, though. Instead, he just tries to go for lethal through the Exile Force. I'm going to Econ it into defense mode. By the way, he's at 2,000, so he doesn't know what my back row is anymore. And he uses his Dakini to refish the Machine Angel Ritual. Uh, it's, it's not a terrible move, even though his Dakini is no longer protected. Because um, the more you recycle Machine Angel Ritual in these grinder type of matches, the better chance that you have of actually winning the game. Because if you run out of Ritual spells, then it's all over. And so I attack through the, the Edithin boost thanks to my Metal Morph. And once again, I'm keeping my Exile Force on the field. He popped Machine Angel again, sacking two Ben 10s for his next Dakini. And this time he does pop the Dakini effect. And searches for two cards with Ben 10. Pretty questionable in my opinion because he's running out of cards real quick. This boy is so close to decking out. He's got two cards left in the deck, and Cyber Petite can't even search ritual spells anymore because Machine Angel's in the grave. I go ahead and remove my Exiled Force through uh, Dakini's forced effect. And he's not going to attack because he knows I have Mirror Wall from back when he had my scan available. So I'm just going to double attack, and Sergeant Electro attacks into the Dakini. He's going to protect it with his Machine Angel. But that's fine with me. He can no longer refish this and keep recycling his uh his Dakinis with it. But he does pick up the Machine and Gel Ritual, puts two cards back in his deck to prevent decking out, gets his next Dakini out in defense mode, pops the effect. So glad I picked up another Electro there. And he picks up his third Dakini. But I know once if if I don't lose to that last Dakini, then I'm good to go because he's already used two Absolute Rituals and one Machine Angel Ritual. Meaning if he can't finish me off with that last one, he's not finishing me off ever. I summoned that Heavy K, and if this survives, he can get Gemini Summon and just start removing monsters straight up. His turn comes through, gets that Sonic Bird rolling, and this is going to ensure that he gets his next Dakini off. And so, as you can see, this was very tight. If I didn't draw monsters for these last two Dakinis, then I would just straight up lost the game, but the heart of the cards came clutch for your boy this matchup. He gets his next Dakini out, and once again, I'm just popping, popping my Heavy Knight to the grave, keeping that pumped up Electro, and this Mirror Wall is enough to make my Sergeant Electro win the battle against his pumped up Dakini by 50 points. So he recycles Dakini once more, but at this point it doesn't matter because as I said, unless he's running some trash like Sprite's Blessing, he's not going to get another Ritual Summon off. Pick up that next Electro. Attack that Sonic Bird and uh, finish off his Dakini. Uh, nothing else to protect his Dakini and once again, the Metal Morph is enough to win the battle by 50. Picks up his last card, decides to scoop. Absolutely nothing he can do at that point. I had Mirror Wall in the back, and I could just end my turn next turn for the full deck out lethal. 
But yeah, this is the only replay I got from this because there were only five replay slots and the other four slots I used for my ninja video. But hopefully that duel was enjoyable enough for you. Let's move on to what cards you should pick up with your rare SR and UR tickets. Okay, so let's start off with the ultra rare cards. None of these are really too relevant in terms of competitive PvP, but there are a few ones I highlighted and I'll tell you the reasons why. First off, the purple cards, which uh, blue eyes should also be included, but we've got Kai Man and Ryoku here, and these cards are useful for farming. And the reason I prioritize farming cards when picking up prismatics is because they're the most useful in that way. Each prismatic play you do in a duel gets you 200 assessment points, and that means it's way easier to guarantee 8,000 points. And also, sometimes you can cut out certain cards from your deck since you're already getting well over 8,000, and then you can replace those cards with cards that speed up the farm, such as Shard of Greed, or cards that increase the consistency of the deck. Next up, we've got cards highlighted in yellow, and these are cards that were once in the card trader, but have been pulled out. So Twin Barrel Dragoon and Big Shield Garner, you can't pick those up from the trader anymore. So it would be wise if you want to play those cards to pick those up right now. And then the ones highlighted in blue are cards that are from events. And so you might not have three copies of these cards yet, and they are not available in the card trader. So you might want to pick those up. For the rare tickets, it's pretty simple. Just pick up cards that are uh, PvP exclusive. All the other R cards are pretty much easily accessible. So as you can see here, these are a few examples of cards that are only accessible by PvP reward tickets. And lastly for the SR cards, I've sorted them into four rows. In the top row, we've got the farming cards. And once again, I prioritize the farming cards because they're the most useful as a prismatic. Legacy of Yadagarasu is pretty much a jar of greed which you can include in farming decks to speed it up and uh, add consistency. Next row of SR tickets are cards that are relevant in PvP, so we got Enemy Controller of course, and Red Eyes is still pretty much up there even though we didn't see a lot of it during the KC Cup, so you can pick up a Red Eyes Insight or a Red Eyes Spirit. The third row are cards that are event exclusives and so you might not have three of them after completing those events that they were in, so you might want to pick some of those up. And then the last row are SR cards that are exclusive through ranked PvP tickets and your KC Cup rewards, of course. All the other SRs, you can pretty much just pick them up by farming them at the gate, and so I wouldn't really waste a ticket on those. But yeah, that's it for me. See you guys on the stream tonight. Peace out.